Hello and welcome to the lecture. Okay, so the very basic thing that you need to know in Anime Studio when you're rigging is to know what your rig is made up of. And that is what we're gonna go over right now, okay? So in order to create what is called a bone, Anime Studio uses what's called bones. That are these right here. In order to create a bone, the very first thing that you have to do is you gotta go to this. This is your new layer little uh, button here. And you're gonna go down to bone. Okay, if you remember group layers from the previous uh, course, this is basically the same thing as one of these. It holds a group of things. It's nested, uh, it has its nested layers inside of one giant layer or one giant group, okay? And that is how a bone group layer works. They don't call it a bone group. It's just called a bone layer, basically. But this, all these groups that we made are nested inside of this layer here, okay? So in order to make a bone, you have to have this bone group layer. Let's go ahead and name this bone. And we'll name this arm, okay? Real quick, I'm just gonna do a really basic uh, design here. Just, oop, I don't wanna draw it. Can't draw an anime studio. I'm going to use the line tools. Okay, so just real quick, I'm just gonna do a basic example of how to do an arm. Okay, so for whatever reason, it's green. All right, so this is how you are going to create your bone. You first have to select the bone layer. So this isn't necessary, uh, but this is just to show you how this is gonna be manipulated or how it's going to be moved. But you're gonna to go to your bone layer and as you can see, watch here. As I'm going through both of these layers, the whole tool menu is dynamically changing. And that is what Anime Studio does, basically. This is, this is what's telling you, okay, you're in this set of tools, now you're in this set of tools. So I'm in my bone tools, okay? And this allows me, when I have this layer selected, allows me to add a bone. This is the add bone tool. I'm gonna to be using keyboard shortcuts, but you would hit A on the keyboard. Okay, so first off, I'm just gonna drag out one bone. So I just dragged down the arm, I clicked, I held, and I dragged down. And that created a bone. So that gives us a bone for our character's shoulder here. Uh, he's an alien. Okay, so what does this uh, do exactly? Well, if I showed you here, with it rigged, let me go ahead and take this off. With it rigged, this allows you to move that arm. So right there, this is gonna allow me to move the arm, but it's not, not yet at least. And I'll explain how that works in the binding. But if I go into, uh, this is the tool that I'm using, um, right here, this is the manipulate tool. This is how I move things around, you need to use this highlighted tool there. Manipulated tool has little arrows in order to move the bone. But as you can see, the bone is not moving as it should, and I'll explain that later. But you're going to have, first off, you're gonna have your transform bone tool. If I made out these bones and it's not turning in the right place, I can go ahead and I can go to the, uh, the transform bone, bone tool and I could shrink that bone down. Okay, so now that bone, though it's shrunken down and though it's doing the same thing, say for instance, this is, this is your pivot point. Say for instance, I want to pivot not right here, I want to pivot a little bit further down here. So I'm gonna grab my bone, and like I said, this is your pivot point. I'm gonna pivot at that location. As you can see, it pivots from that spot, therefore creating this, uh, horrible rig, okay? So I had it placed at the exact spot that I needed it to so that it lined up with this layer so that when I move his arm, it moves at that pivot point perfectly on that layer. It can get a little complica complicated, but I'll explain how it all works. Okay, so you have your transform bone tool. That is what shrinks and allows you to move your bone if you need to. Uh, you have your bone strength. Let's go back into this, oops. This, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use on this arm, okay? So with my bone strength tool, all you're going to do is you're just going to click and you're just going to drag. So I'm just going to drag to the right right now. And this creates what's called the bone strength. 
This is what is going to influence everything inside of this area or any bone or sorry, any layer. So any of these vectors that I created, his arm, his hand, if any of those are not bound, it is going to be influenced or controlled by this bone strength right here. I'll show you an example. This ax, it isn't bound to anything. I just have it fly in and he catches it in his hand. But watch what happens when I rotate his arm with that ax not bound to anything. See that? It's going to be influenced by his arm bone strength. Okay, so all this is probably getting a little bit complicated, but I will promise you I'll explain everything in more detail as we go. Okay, so that is the strength. That is going to influence either the vector layers inside of it, vector layers outside of it. It, it all really depends on how you set up your character, and we'll get more into that when we go into bone binding. But all we're doing right now is just explaining the basics of the bone. Okay? And then you have your offset bone. This is used in older versions of Anime Studio. You don't really have to do this anymore. But basically what this allows you to do, or what it allowed older version users to do, is to take apart their bone. Because like I was showing you, that bone strength was influencing that one general region. And when you go and you want to, this is the old way that they rigged in Anime Studio. If you wanted to go and just barely uh, increase the strength radius for each of these bones. This is actually how you controlled bones in the, I'll say the older days, but in the older versions of Anime Studio. Okay, so this is how you controlled things. But as you can tell, it is controlling a lot more than just that arm. It's going to be controlling that axe as well. So what they had to do is they had to use this bone offset tool in order to uh, basically just pull everything away from that influence area so that it didn't influence other regions when, uh, when an animator or when a user of Anime Studio uh, went to create their character uh, and rig their character in Anime Studio. Okay, so that is basically how all that works there. So most important uh, that you can get from this is know that right here, this is where the bone rotates. So for example, if I move the bone right here, this portion right here would rotate. And if it rotated, uh, say his back was right here, it would rotate his shoulder out of his back. So I'd want to move the rotation point right there at the pivot point of where typically a shoulder is. It's actually right here, but you want to keep it as close as you can to that pivot point so that it rotates in a nice smooth um, way rather than having it rotate way over there. See what I mean? That looks terrible. All right, so this is just a brief overview of the bone, okay? It is important to know how that works. I'll explain more detail when I get into rigging and other things like that. But that is the bone, and that is how you use it, and that is what the tools are used for for this bone. And I hope you enjoyed this lecture. I will get into the binding the different ways that you can bind in Anime Studio in the next lecture, so stay tuned.